So when I've launched Photoshop this morning, inconspicuously, I just click this icon and I'm greeted with this. And the splash screen has changed. And while I don't dispute that this is good artwork, I find that very distracting. I gotta say, I don't really like the idea that Adobe put a splash screen in front of my image when I'm about to do something artistic myself. And it's, I feel many other people feel that same way as well. And it's, it's a bit of a problem. I like this. That's kind of cool. You know, go quickly, go to wherever you were before but the splash screen thing just can't be disabled easily so uh, or changed rather so that's that's a bit of a problem so i did some digging and i can show you how to at least disable this if you're a little bit uh, shocked by intense women staring at you when you open photoshop as well you can give it an option during startup and just tell it don't load the splash screen it has consequences so I'll let, me, let me show you where that is so on the icon where you launch photoshop from either from here or from here you just right click and then you head over to the actual file location and uh, there you can see that this is my icon here photoshop 2022 you right click on that and you head over to properties and then in properties there is this target thing and this is essentially the the thing that the, the command that launches photoshop so after the last whatever you call this thing the quotation mark i guess you put a space and then you put a hyphen and then you type no splash so no with a capital n and splash with a capital s and there's no spaces in between there's just one space in between the last quotation mark then there's a space and there's a hyphen like a minus sign and then you type no splash and then when you hit okay you need to provide administrative privileges you say oh continue that's cool and then you can launch photoshop without the splash screen but it might seem well, that's gone now isn't it so the pin to start God damn it. There we go. This goes into your location here. There we go. So now if I go and start it, it will load, but nothing seemingly happens because usually the splash screen is there and, uh, and you know, it's still loading. It just takes a little bit of time. So it's just suppressing the splash screen altogether. And then, you know, it loads. So it takes a little bit longer, but you don't see intense women staring at you in the morning, which is kind of cool. Or flamingos. I, I like the flamingos, but when it goes into kind of people artwork and it's getting more intense, it's just really not my thing. So um, there's also a way to change and replace the splash screen with, with your own image. But those are kind of hack applications that I haven't really looked into. So one of those things. Mm -hmm.